are you going to push if you don't know his commitment? So be very honest with the person sitting down across of you. Listen, Satya, I need to know your commitment in this business. Why? Because I need to know how much time am I going to commit to you, depending on how much time you are committing to this business. So Satya says, well, Patman, I'm working full time, nine to five. I've got kids, I've got family. I can give you one day a week. Okay, now the rule when you get commitment from your leaders or your partners in this business is always be realistic, but never be conservative. Always be realistic, never be conservative. So somebody jumps in front of you and says, I want to commit seven days a week, 24 hours a day to this business. What do you say? Yes. No, he's going to burn out and he can't keep up to it. So he says, relax. I'm a leader, right? I commit. Let's do five days a week. You need one day for R&R &R with your family, all right? You need to spend some time with your family. You need to recharge your batteries, okay? Let's do five days a week. Is that fair enough to you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So be realistic. Now, a guy comes and tells you, I can give you one day a month. That's too conservative. So you stop and you check. And you say, I'm sorry, Satya. Can I be honest with you, my friend? Yeah, yeah, please tell me. I don't think you'll make it very big in this business if you're only willing to commit one day a month. All right? Yes, do it part-time. But do it full-heartedly. All right? So now, for the average person coming into the business, all right, you can get commitment in two ways. One is time commitment. You give me three days a week. All right? We spend three days together building this business. Number two is the number of appointments up to your flexibility. All right? So sometimes we sit down with our leaders and we say, Munis, how many appointments can you do in a week? How many people can you meet? Ah, well, Patman, I can meet uh, five people. Fantastic. So he's got a commitment of five people to meet in a week. Timing is up to him. Flexible, correct? Then you've got people who tell you, I'm only free on Mondays and Thursdays. Fantastic. We work on those two days. Once you get the commitment out of them, you will know how much to push. So Muni says, Five people this week. Five days has passed in the week. He's only met one person. Do I have the permission to push him? Has he given me permission? Yes. He has announced his commitment. Two more days left. He only met one person. He needs to meet four more. So I can push him. And he will accept my pushing. Why? Because he's already made the commitment. But you can't just hit on people for no reason. Why are you so lazy? Why you haven't showed a plan? Wake up, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can't do that. Because the person doesn't have even committed to you. Alright, so the second basic building block is where you get the commitment from that person. Face to face. Number one. Alright, my friend, Mohan, are you really committed to your dreams? I need to know your commitment. Yes, I am. He needs to reaffirm with his voice. You need to hear that from him. And then, you move on to the second level of commitment, where you ask them their commitment in this business. Now, they also have to be committed to the business presentations in the office. They also have to be committed to attend every training. Training is the key. Alright? So think about this. How many of you have actually asked your people for their commitment? How many of you are pushing without even knowing their commitment? And you are wondering why they are moving away? They are moving away because they are uncomfortable with you pushing until you have decided and agreed on the commitment. Too low, you push it up. If they're fanatically high, bring it down. Please, I'm telling you, I don't do this business seven days a week, 24 hours. I think about the business seven days, 24 hours a day. Because this is our dream, our future. But I want to spend time with my mom. I want to spend time in the future with my beautiful wife and my kids. You understand? That's how you recharge your batteries. Right? Or not soon after 10 days of 100% fanatic you become no longer effective. You become irritated. You understand? Hey, you haven't met your wife. Oh, huh? Leslie, would you agree? She recharges your batteries. I mean, in a good way. All right? Yes. You are, it's all editor anyway. You understand? So that's the second basic building block. All right? Commitment. Get it out of them. Now, how do you get it out of them? Make them feel comfortable. Alright, don't push. What do you mean only one day a month? 
Fantastic. I know your position, Satya. All right? I know how busy you are. All right? But I'm honest with you, you have to push up your commitment a bit more if you want to see some results in this business. One day a month won't help. All right? You understand? All right? So second basic building block, commitment, commitment, commitment. From day one, find out your commitment. Now, will this commitment remain the same? No. The commitment gradually increases. Why? They commit two days a week, they start seeing amazing results. Alright? And automatically, without you asking, they will start committing three days, four days, five days, and eventually they become like us. Very serious about the business. Right? But you can't take them and just throw them into the pool. You've got to teach them the baby steps. And then they will take giant leaps. And trust me, all right, if you can identify with their commitment, you have a very effective way of communicating with them and pushing them gradually. All right? So second basic building block, commitment. Now, we move on to our third basic building block for this module. All right? Now, the third basic building block is broken down to basically, it's called the list. L-I-S-T. Okay? Alright? L-I-S-T, the list. Now, the list is broken up to two. Number one is the list of your goals. Your dreams, your visions. Has to be written down. So, if your goal to hit your first step in three weeks, write it down physically on a piece of paper. Don't say, thank you very much, I have memorized it. Doesn't work that way you have to write it down on a piece of paper. All right? That piece of paper is in your wallet, in your diary. All right? Do not paste it on your windscreen of your car. It may lead to some serious accidents. All right? Just keep it where you can be reminded of your goals, dreams, and visions continuously. That's your first list. All right? Now, if you are a couple, sit down with your wife and write that list down. All right? It's very powerful to share your dreams your visions with your spouse. And she will have some amazing out inputs or he may have some amazing inputs and you put it down together. As you work as a team, all right, you become a very powerful networker. Okay? Now the second list. Now what is your main capital in this business besides time? What, is, what do you need in this business? Contacts. People. Sad to say the Gold Quest policy does not allow us yet to deal with animals. All right, we'll be very powerful. I know my three dogs will sign up immediately. Okay, so right now the policy is you only deal with people. So your asset or your capital in this business, number one is your time, which is covered by commitment. Number two is people, your contacts. All right, now here's a question I want to ask all of you. If you look at your list of names today, how many names are there on average? 20, we have 50. You have some people who are 100, some people got 5, some people got 8. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's a serious problem. Unless you've been living under your bed all this time, or never walked out of your house, the average Asian or the average individual should have a circle of influence anywhere between 150 to 200 people in your circle of influence, including your family, your friends, your acquaintances, your working colleagues, Nothing less. Look at your family tree. There's already 30, 40 people who you know directly, correct? All right, so your name list shouldn't be eight people. I'm sorry. Okay, now here's how I would project to you how to increase the number in your name list. Let me give you an example. You take a blank piece of paper right now, put it in front of you and take out a pen. And for the next two hours, every name you put on that piece of paper who you know I will give you 100 US dollars for each name. Cash. Now tell me, how many people in your list of names? 500. 1,000 500, increases. All right? 10,000, Munisa says. You understand? So your name list is short or very little for one reason. Because you prejudge people before you put them on the name list which you should never, never, never do. All right? Never prejudge people. Oh, he will not be interested. Oh, he's too rich. 
He's not the type. He's not the networking type. Alright? If somebody said that about me, I wouldn't be shown the plan. Half of you in this room may not be the networking type, but you 